guys, it's Jessica from Peace Out Books, and today I'm here with my August TBR. I cannot believe it's already August. I'm going back to work, which means less reading time for me, but that's okay. I go back around like the 17th, I think, so I still have the first two weeks where I can just read, read, read all that I want, but I also have my birthday in August. My birthday is August 1st, so I never feel like it's like my birthday month because it's literally like the first day and then my birthday's over, but I am very excited. I'm turning 29, so I will be driving home from Polycon that day and then coming home to a birthday celebration with my sister who is my twin so it's our birthday and my parents so hopefully it's a good time but I have tons of books I want to get to some authors I want to binge because I'm obsessed with these authors and need to read their entire backlist so I will go ahead and get to the books so the first one I have is our historical hellions pick which is a book club I run with Samantha from books with Samantha we are reading a whisper of roses by Teresa Medeiros I have not read this author yet and I'm really excited because this one is Scottish I love a good Scottish romance I'm reading our July pick right now and loving it because I love Highlander romances. It just says that he like comes into the room and she is like he is a sun bronzed giant striding towards her and it is the man who like tormented her as a when he was a boy and she was a girl and now they are getting together. He wants a truce between them and he needs to marry her, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I do love a good forced marriage, marriage of convenience, and a Highlander romance. Very excited to read this. I am filming this, I think it's the 22nd today, so I'm filming a little early because I tried to pre-film because I'm gonna be out of town at a Polycon at the end of the month, but we have not picked yet our Ravish Eye romance pick. We will let you know what it is after our live show, at our live show, which is this Sunday. So, though this is going up, on Sunday. So it's gonna be tonight. Tonight you all know the Rush by Romance pick. So the Rush by Romance is the one I run with Lacey and so check out our Instagram if you're interested in what we are reading there. But I have a stack of books. I always just pull off like a random assortment. My TBR is never like set in stone. These are just books that I have my eye on that I really want to read soon. I really want to get through the series by Sierra Simone, so I really want to read Sinner. I read Priest and it was pretty good, but I feel like Sinner is the one I heard that is like everybody's favorites. I don't know if it's still like in the church or not because the first one was about a priest and the third one's about a nun and I don't know what this one is, but I've heard it's everyone's favorites, so I definitely want to read that. I also have Moments in Time by K.K. Allen. I did read Weight of Regret, which is book one, and I enjoyed it, so I want to continue on reading her books and this one's the next in the series. It is her newest one and and it says that he was the one who got away. Yes, so it's a second chance romance. So seven years ago, he was everything to her and her best friend. Ooh, but they never dated because he was like a playboy and dated all the other girls. And now he's back in town. Ooh, but one night I think they like might have hooked up and that ruined everything. So this sounds really good. I'm excited to read it and keep up with her new releases because I got to see her at Book Bonanza and I picked that one up there. I also was sent a copy of The Hookup Plan by Farrah Roshan and this one comes out August 2nd so I'd love to read this in August and this one she is a doctor and I believe she like ends up hooking up with a guy at a high school reunion that was her nemesis in high school and then... They keep on hooking up because they have a lot of good chemistry and it sounds really good. I really enjoyed the first two books in this series. So I want to read this one because it's a friend group and I remember our heroine from the other books and I'd like to see her get her happily ever after. Then I really want to read I Can't Resist Her by Kiana Alexander. This might have been on my July TBR. I did not get to it. It's a sapphic romance. Our heroine is back in Austin, Texas teaching and it says that her old neighborhood is going to be demolished and her old high school that her grandmother founded is going to be torn down and the other heroine is the one on the architectural team like taking it down so sounds like there's gonna be a little bit of a conflict but I'm excited to read this one and another one I'm really excited to read because it has a football player hero is fake it till you bake it by Jamie Wesley and our heroine actually gets a job at his bakery and he is a professional football player and it says he's a very uptight owner so they have to fake date and it sounds really fun. I love the cover too and I love a good like bakery romance so hopefully I enjoy this. Then the author I would love to continue reading her backlist, I don't have too much left, is Katherine Cowles. I just interviewed her actually last night of the day I'm filming this on my channel and I loved getting to talk to her. If you've been watching me and following me over the past month, I am obsessed with her books and I've been getting into her Wrecked series. So I finished her entire Sutter Lake series and I have one book left in her Tattered and Torn series because I do have an arc of the new book, even though there's only three out, I've read all three of those. And then I have the Wrecked series. I read book one on audio. I actually got the box set of books one, two, and three. I don't know which books these are in the series, but I do want to read them. I think there's five in the series, so I have four left. And I have books two and three on audio, so I'm going to read those on audio and probably physically read the last two. They're just really great 
small town romances and the first one is really emotional so I'm excited to get to those. I also have had this on my TBR for the last two months. It is Ivy by Willa Nash. I will really really want to get to this especially because Tori from Live a Novel Life really loved it. It takes place in college. It follows three different couples and there's lots of secrets and stuff and that's really all I know but it's massive and I want to read these big books before I have to go back to work. So that's on my TBR. And then I have the backlist of another author that I love. I am actually going to be interviewing Elizabeth in August. At the end of August, I will have information on my Instagram. I have a highlight saved of my author interviews. I believe it's August 19th. Tori is going to be joining me for our interview. And I have one other co-host I haven't asked yet that hopefully she will join as well. But I really want to read the rest of, well, at least the next two in the parallel series that I own. So we have Intersectors book two, which is, I believe, book two, the continuation of yeah the story of our two main characters who met in the first book and they're soulmates and the, the girl's been dreaming about the guy and then they meet in real life but she is engaged to someone else and she can apparently time travel and this one I believe follows a different couple so I'm very excited for those and then I'm really really excited to read her devil series I don't remember what this series is called Navia got me this copy which I'm really excited for we have a deal with the devil and then I had this for when I met her at book bonanza so we have the devil and the deep blue sea and I am just excited they're contemporary romances I believe this one she has to go on vacation with her ex-boyfriend's family and falls for his brother so very excited for these I know I loved waking Olivia so I know I love her contemporaries so I want to read all four of these we'll see if I can I'm being a bit ambitious. And then I have What Hassan Wants. I might read this at the end of July. We'll see if I get a chance to, but this is actually Danielle Allen's new book that you can only buy on her website. I did get to interview Danielle Allen earlier this month and it was absolutely amazing. And she was talking about this new book and she's only releasing it on her website right now. So I went ahead and bought a copy and I don't really know that much about it. She didn't really give us a lot about it. I do love her romances. They're definitely very good. Lots of steam and chemistry and just I'm excited to read a new book by her. So I cannot wait to read this. Then I have a bunch of audio and ebooks that are on my radar. So we have Locked of Liars by Ella Thorpe or L Thorpe. This is what, definitely because of Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers. She has been raving about this author and someone else had posted that their hoopla had the audiobook. So I ran to my hoopla. They have the first one and I believe it's reverse harem in a prison. So I don't know how that works. And I think the heroine is trying to get one of the guys out of prison. If I remember, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna read this soon. I'm so excited. I might even get to it before July is over. I do have a six hour car ride to a polycon in DC. So I'm definitely gonna listen to audiobooks. And since I listen at three times speed, that's 18 hours worth of audio listening. So I can get through like at least a book and a half on my drive there and on my drive back. So maybe I'll listen to this one, but I'm excited. I also have Blindside by Candy Steiner. I actually, I have a copy over there that I didn't grab. This one I know so many people love, especially Caitlin from The Love Librarian, I think read this and absolutely loved it. And uh, surprisingly, Sam from Sam Reads Little, she's very picky when it comes to her romances and she loved this book. So I'm excited to read it. It is a fake dating romance, I believe. I really liked Fair Catch, so I'm excited to read her new one. Then we have My Best Friend Sister by QB Tyler. I'm putting this on here because I definitely want to get to it. It's a novella, it's very short. I just have this and I think one or two more books by QB Tyler before I can finally finish her back list so she's another author I'm trying to knock all the books off of for so I can do a video about her but this one is brother's best friend romance so can't wait to get to this. I do have to read books three, four, five, and six of the Clifton Forge series by Devney Perry. I'm doing a read-along with both Sam and Tori, and I hopefully have read books one and two by Tuesday. I haven't started them yet, and it's Friday. I will. I will read them this weekend after I read my Historical Hellions book club pick, and then those are next on my TBR. This is a disbanded MC romance series, and it's small town, and so I know the heroine in book one is an investigative journalist, and then it, like, follows a bit of a mystery going through them so I haven't started yet but I know some friends have already just like binged through the entire series. We are reading a book a week and we'll have a live show every two weeks so our first live show is this Tuesday and then the next one's two weeks from then and the next one's two weeks from then so we do have it saved on our Instagrams if you want to check that out but I'm excited to read this especially because it's on KU right now and it will be taken off at the end of August. That's why we did the read along this summer so we could all read it while it's on KU but I'm very excited. Then I have two audiobooks by Odette Stone. I have High Risk Rookie and Home Game. I don't know the tropes in here. I don't really want to know the tropes. I just want to 
go in and read them. I know that Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl has really loved this series and I loved book one and I think book three. And so one of my library apps has book two and the other one has book four. So I'm going to finish out the series and they're just hockey romances and they're really good. So I'm excited to get through those. I also have the audio of Timber, which is like super long. I think it's like 15 or 16 hours and I'm like, I don't want to listen to a long audiobook right now, but I will at some point. This is book four in the Hades series. I need to get to the conclusion. I've loved this series. I like it even more than the Madison Kate series and it follows Haiti and three guys. They are so good and they all end on a cliffhanger and I am annoyed with myself because the last cliffhanger was crazy and I'm just like I need to get to the conclusion of the story. So hopefully I can pick this up and finally finish out the series. I have the audiobook of French by Melanie Harlow. I don't know too much about this one other than that I think she actually goes to France and falls in love with someone. I know that a bunch of people on Instagram that I follow have been reading a lot of Melanie Harlow and I don't love all of her books. Like I read Irresistible and it was okay but I really liked Ignite. So I'm hoping to read a different series by her and see what I like. Then I have Tinsel by Debney Perry. I have two by her that I'm trying to finish out her series for and I have not been enjoying the Lark Cove series but Tragic was so good. Like this series is okay. Like I think I gave book one four stars but then one of them, Timid, I gave like two and a half, three stars. I was not a fan of that. So then I was dragging my feet to read Tragic but Tragic was so good because we have such a damaged hero and it's like a neighbor romance. Even though it has the surprise pregnancy trope, it was really good and so I really want to read Tinsel now. I don't know the tropes of this or anything. I don't even know who the character is, but I really want to read this one, and I think this might be the last in the series. So uh, look at me finishing series. Who am I? I need to read this one. And then I have The Bitterroot Inn because, again, this series was my least favorite by her. I think that someone told me this is actually her first series, and the Coppersmith Farmhouse was just okay. Cloverleaf Chapel was just okay. Like, all of them have been, like, three, three and a half star reads for me. The Outpost was absolute five star read. I absolutely love that book. It was so good. It was forced proximity. She's hiding out from the mafia and like it was so good. So I was really intrigued by the heroine of the Bitterroot Inn because she is a single mom and she is the hero from the outpost. I think that's her brother. So we saw her kid a lot in the, that book and I just need to read her book. So I'm going to read Bitterroot Inn as well. And these are both on audio. So that's why I have them on my list. Then I have two that I have from Audible. So I have The Silent Waters by Brittany C. Cherry. Hopefully I can get to this one. I know it's super emotional and I believe the hero is Mute. Ava from Ava's Romance Books loves this book and I finally got it in an audible sale so I'm definitely listening to this one and then hopefully reading book two and finishing the series. I've only read one and four gotta get to that series. And then the last one is It Ain't Me Babe. I really want to continue on the Hades Heyman series and that's why I have like four of the books on audio and I really want to reread book one because it has been years since I read book one and hopefully I will be able to continue on in the series. They're dark MC romances. The heroines, most of them come from a cult that they were rescued from. The hero and the heroine met when they were really young. The hero actually has a stutter and he is the president of the MC so very excited to reread this and continue on in the series. And those are all the books that I hope to get to in August. Let me know what your TBR is or what you're excited for me to read. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.